Hi guys! Today we're going to talk about different chicken breeds and the color of eggs that they lay. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you like the video, click the thumbs up. Let's go take a peek at birds. You may see a little bit of her or her in this video. Okay, so I'm not going to go into their run, um, but I'll just show you from here. Cody, stop it! Okay, so let's start with her on the far end here. That um, is either Martha or Mary. I can't remember which one is which. Um, well, there's the other one. So that's Mary, we'll say. That's Martha. So those are well summer chickens. They are very docile. They're not the friendliest per se but they lay gorgeous chocolate colored eggs. They're beautiful, decent size. They aren't extra large, but they're not tiny either. Um, <laughs> brownies, stop it. Okay, so then we have this cute girl um, back there. That is Golden Bolden, and she is a Sagita. So she's actually a dual purpose bird, meaning that she has two purposes. One, she's big, so she'll be a nice meat bird. Um, and then dual purpose, meaning that, oh, nice. She also um, lays eggs. She actually started out in our original four, and uh, she we thought she was lowest on the totem pole, very timid, but very smart. You would reach your hand out to her to give her some treats, and she would see that the food was in your hand and that your hand was connected to you. And um, she just seemed, we were worried that she was gonna get picked on, and lo and behold, she is the alpha hen. Um, so next, we'll go to that girl right there. Um, she's looking a little rough right now, but that chicken is an Easter Egger. She's not an Americana. Um, we have four of them all together. That lighter one right there, that's Fluff Puff. She is also an Easter Egger. And we have two others, and they're either in the nesting box or they're escaped somewhere and are being free range birds. Um, so the Easter Eggers, they were part of our second flock and we raised our second flock from chicks, both our first and second flock, but we raised them differently, which maybe I'll do a video on that. Um, and so some of the birds from the second flock aren't as friendly and half of that was because of how we raised them. So look at that there. Apparently she wanted to move the bin. Okay, so um, then we can go with this gal right here. That is Dottie, she's a barred rock. Pretty common bird, uh, great um, egg layer. She lays brown eggs. Oh, I forgot to mention. So the Easter Egger, there she is down there. So they are known for laying colored eggs. They can kind of be blue tinted, green tinted. Um, and I'll show you at the end of the video here um, exactly what each egg color looks like. Um, then the dark gal in the back right there, we need to get some special stuff for her water. Um, that is a black, black sex link. She lays brown eggs. She was on the very bottom of the totem pole until our second flock and she kind of worked her way up, but she was definitely picked on and um, yeah, I'm glad she's not getting super picked on now. Um, let's see, you've seen this girl before. She's one of our um, white lace wine dots. I just saw a video of a silver lace wine dot, but I'm pretty sure that's a white lace wine dot. She's pretty friendly. Um, obviously she kicks the horse out from time to time so she can lay in there. And we have two of those. And the other one might actually be in the hay barn right now. We have 14 chickens in total. Then my least favorite bird, we'll see if I can get her to come over here. Okay, so she is the brown one right there. She's got the big comb, which makes them more prone to frostbite in the winter. Her little ears look like 
bus to me, so I don't like that. And they're very light, so they do well in the summer because they're lighter, but not as well in the winter. Um, that's a brown leghorn, and that one has been staying in the run pretty well. It's just four feet. We don't have a top on it. But her little cohort, she escapes every single day. And they are very spastic, as I've said in a previous video, and they're not my favorite. Um, hello? Okay, then I'm saving the last, the best for last, and that is our dear, sweet Autumn. Autumn. Hi, pretty girl. So she is a red sex link. And if you see like videos floating around on YouTube from time to time, there's some man who's like traveling by sea across the world or something and he has a pet chicken and it's her breed. Um, she is the friendliest, most docile, awesome chicken. Absolutely love, love, love her. Colton took her to fair last year um, he was just a clover bud, so they didn't play, so it was just participation based. Um, but even people at the fair commented about how sweet and docile she was, as Colton or I were just holding her, waiting to go into the showroom. Okay, so let's see if we can take a peek into the coop. This is our coop, you've seen it in other videos before. Let's we'll see if we can just look through the window. I hear somebody in there. I'm not going to open the door because the goats will try to beeline it in there. Oh, look. Okay, so, oh, you probably can't see. Dottie made it in. Okay, I came into the coop so you could see who was in here, which is Dottie. She's a good girl. She's part of our original four. Can't remember if I said that or not. It was Dottie, her, right there. Um, Golden Bolden, who is the Sagita. And then. Naughty. Naughty, naughty. I'm gonna have to move that. Okay, um, so she was part of the four. We had two other Easter eggers. One was a rooster. He had to be let go, and the other one got eaten by our dog. That's another story. Totally not his fault. He's the best dog in the whole wide world, and in fact, he is scared of chickens. It was just a fluke thing. I'll have to tell you that story another day. Okay, so let's get back to the chickens. Let's go see if the one is in the hay barn. I know, there she is. So that must have been her sister who was over um, outside of the run over by the coop. I think this is the girl who went into Sparkle's hay. Look, she's eating a little bit of alfalfa, getting some yummies. She's part of the second flock, but she's actually pretty friendly. She'll follow us around. Nothing compared to Autumn, because, you know, Autumn's a golden child. Oopsie. But she's a good girl. We like her. Need to clean up some hoses. Hey, pretty girl. Okay, so here I've got um, our ah, chicken full of eggs and um, these are farm fresh eggs so they do have the bloom on them we don't wash that off um, unless they are dirty and then we wash it off and then put them in the fridge otherwise they do stay on the counter so this lovely white egg here is very good in size and this is from the brown leghorns that's our only chicken that lays white eggs, which is why we got them, was because we wanted white in our mix. Okay, so next is the Easter Egger, and they look something like this. So ours are a little more greenish, um, but you can see variety based on the bird. Um, once they start laying whatever color eggs, that's what they will lay the rest of their life. Okay, so this egg is just our regular run-of-the-mill brown egg. Um, all of these eggs are very, very, very similar in size. Um, this egg here could be laid by Autumn, the red sex link, the black sex link, the barred rock, um, the 
white lace wine dot and I think that's it then our beautiful well summers that are well mannered they lay the dark chocolatey colored eggs sometimes they're, they even seem to be a little bit darker let me show you them in comparison to the light the light brown so you can really see the difference now our um, Sagita, the larger um, hen that's out there, she lays large eggs. Like, they, I wouldn't say they are like the size of two of these, but I'd say like one and a half. They are large. You definitely cannot put her eggs in a carton and close the lid. Um, hers are very, very big. But we had breakfast for dinner tonight and we used all those eggs. So, at least I think. Let me double check. Um, yes, we did. So I went to our local hatchery and they had a booklet that I could flip through, look at different breeds, it would tell me which colors, um, and I was wanting very specific colored eggs as well as tep, tep, ugh, can't say that word apparently, temperament in the bird, um, and then also I wanted them to look cute because, you know, you're going to have to look at them. So... All in all, I'm very pleased with the hens that we have. Our brown leghorns do seem to be mellowing out a bit, but they are definitely a bird that I would not choose again. <laughs> I really wouldn't suggest them. Um, we went with the brown leghorn because I didn't want um, the other really common bird that lays white eggs. They just weren't like very pretty, so I went with the brown leghorn. So they do seem to be getting better. Um, but that's what I would do. If you're looking for different types of, um, eggs and hens, what color of eggs you want, and there's a couple of websites that I have found to be amazing throughout our whole chicken process, um, MyPetChicken.com is my favorite website when it comes to chicken related things. Um, there's like a free book on there <clears throat> and it goes through basically the start of a hen, a chick's life, all the way through adulthood. What you need, um, different symptoms of sicknesses, very, very good. And they also have an online chat. So if you have a problem and you want to talk to them about something or throw out an idea, you can send them a message. And if they're not available in the chat right then, um, they will get back to you and send you an email or whatnot. whatnot. I've done that a couple times and that's been really helpful. Um, the other one, if you're watching this video, you probably already know, is thechickencheck.com. She also has a large following on Facebook. Hers is more blog style, not as much like a website. So sometimes I find it hard to navigate through her um, blog, but both of those are really good. I hope you found this video helpful, insightful, and see you in the next video.